Hello, everybody. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and Joel Kinnaman, who played Rick Flagg in Suicide Squad, finally dropped some deets about The Suicide Squad, the new version directed by James Gunn. But he also threw some shade at Jared Leto. I found this intriguing. Uh, look, if you had asked me that they're doing another Suicide Squad movie and they're keeping Rick Flagg, uh, I would have been like, huh? <laughs> but apparently it's happening. Apparently people are excited. Uh, and apparently it's a comedy. Uh, let's listen to this uh, interview. Uh, he was on uh, Variety's, I don't know, whatever the show is, The Big Ticket with Mark Malkin. I'm not a big Mark Malkin fan. He's, uh, I don't know. But anyway, Mark asked him about James Gunn, and let's hear it. It's gone. Yeah. Um, James Gunn is he's an incredible guy, and he's written a fantastic script. It's mm-hmm. so funny. and um, Is it more like the Guardians of the Galaxy now? It feels like the Suicide Squad. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just funny. Mm-hmm. You know, it's really funny. And, um, and I feel like I'm in the first, uh, I'm like shooting my first comedy. That's what it feels oh, like. Oh, that's There's awesome. a lot of really funny people there and the script is really funny. Um, so to me, it's like a learning experience. I'm just, I'm um, really, I'm around a lot of incredible funny, funny people. people and um yeah it's it's um it's also a project where like as an actor you sort of become a student of leadership in a way mm-hmm. because you're in so many different projects and you can really see how how leadership affects people so mm. differently and this is you know James is just such a you know he's a warm kind person that is mm. also very clear in his vision Mm. So it just makes for a very harmonious uh, work environment, and um, yeah, it's like people are people are loose, mm. you know, feel good, and they're not afraid to make mistakes, and um, so people are playing. Were you afraid on the first Suicide Squad? No, no, I'm, yeah. I'm not saying this but in comparison to the first one. Yeah. It's just in general, it's like this is a um, this is a really good experience. Right. So you all went Next. to go see the Joker the other night. Now they yeah. talk about Joker. What do you think? I thought it was fantastic. Yeah. I thought it was fantastic. Did you feel like you were cheating on Jared Leto though? No. <laughs> 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 Who? <laughs> You're not getting pig heads and bullets and everything else he was sending. No. Did um, <laughs> no, I, I mean Joaquin just crushed it. Wow. I mean, what? He is incredible. He is such an actor. It's um, unlike Jared Leto. <laughs> yeah, it, it's. Um, <laughs> so then he goes on to talk about how his his daughter or sister has schizophrenia, and he relates to the the performance and how he loved it. But that little part right there, that little moment of uh, so you're not cheating on uh, Jared Leto, who? <laughs> no. Uh, that's some serious shade being thrown down. So, uh, like, I don't think they liked working with him. I, I do believe. Who wants dead pigs sent to them? Just used condoms. It's just, it's too much. It's too much. It's freaking movies. You have to be Daniel Day Lewis wouldn't even go that far. I mean, come, come on. Uh, Daniel Day Lewis checked his email on the set of Lincoln. I bet he doesn't go that. He's not. Yeah, he's crazy, but he's not that crazy. Come on. Uh, I heard they built his own house on Lincoln's set. I gotta, I gotta figure out how to confirm all that. But I'm so fascinated by that. But anyway, sticking to this subject, uh, two things we gotta take away from that talk. One, they at least Joel Kinnaman wasn't a huge fan of Jared Little. How do you to come off that and then just focus on how good of an actor Joaquin Phoenix is in the Joker? While you're, are you cheating on Jared Leto's Joker? He's just completely like, yeah, dude. Moving on, forget him. Let's talk about this. Uh, just is very telling. But then beyond that, I love the fact that it's a comedy, um, and this cast is you know has some cool people in it. I'm excited. The one uh, I'm the one I'm most excited about, which dude Flula. You guys, you remember? I go way back with Flula. I love Flula. I, 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 now he's too big to ever talk to any of us again because now he's part of a Suicide Squad. Uh, but my God, I love it. And then to see so many set leaks of uh, the them in costume. Look at this. Oh my God, I'm so excited. There's Pete Davidson and Flula. And I, what is this? I love it. Uh, and then Nathan Fillion, look at this wardrobe. Uh, and there's Jai Courtney as uh, Captain Boomerang again. Um, I just, the look, the look just feels already cooler. It just does. I, I don't know what, why, but it does. And I dig it. It almost feels like more silly, um, which is what the that it's a movie like that should have felt like instead of just David Iyer just didn't, I don't know. He screwed it up. There was a couple of interesting moments, but... 
what a cool idea for a movie that just didn't go anywhere. So I love this idea. And the rumor is like they all it is that he takes the suicide name and no one lasts very long. A lot of them, we don't know who, but some of them aren't going to last very long in the movie. The people just die left and right, which has happened in the first one too. But there's a huge cast list there. So it'll be interesting to see who actually sticks around and who doesn't, but he's piled it up with enough people that he can kill a lot of them off pretty quickly. Uh, so I- I'm excited for this. I think James Gunn's clearly wanted to do something to get out of guardians for a while through all the stuff that he went through. So interesting. Uh, so, but to hear that it's a strict full on comedy gets me excited because that's what I want it to be. A comedy, fun action, cool, zany, silly stuff. Uh, it doesn't have to be as emotionally heavy as guardians gets. Like this one could just be a little bit more of like, Hey, let's just have some fun. Let's see James Gunn do some fun with his new superpowers as a director. Let's see what happens. So I'm excited. Uh, and kudos. I've never been a huge fan of Joel Kinnaman. I'll be honest. I did. I hate him in RoboCop. I don't know. Like the altered carbon or whatever that show is Netflix. Couldn't get into it. And house of cards. He was, he was okay. when he played that younger politician. I just, he's never really wowed me. But he seems like a nice guy. Uh, and I, when I hear him do interviews, he sort of sways me into being like, maybe I'm being harsh on him. Maybe we all are. Uh, we'll see. TBD. Uh, but uh, when you hear him actually talk as a person, it's always different than the, sort of the roles that they play. Uh, so I, I thanks for the candidness about Jared Leto. Uh, and thanks for getting us stoked about the comedy in, sui- in The Suicide Squad. Are you guys looking forward to it? Do you think it's going to be a letdown or will it be better than the original? I mean, how can it not go up is really the feeling I have. Uh, but tell me your thoughts down below. Do you think he was throwing shade at Jared Leto? I want to hear it all in the comments. Keep the engagement going. Hit the like if you like this. Hit subscribe if you haven't already and the notification bell uh, so the algorithm can help. Uh, it's uh, how, it, how it all works here. When your favorite creators, you like something you watch, get the little thumb up, leave a comment, subscribe. Uh, that's how you can support us. So thanks so much, everybody. We'll be back with more videos and have an awesome weekend, everybody. Bye.